Hello, this is division of polynomials. If you're asked to solve a problem like this, divide a polynomial by another polynomial. It's either you use your long division method or you want to use synthetic division. Whichever method you use, you'll be fine. But I strongly recommend that you master how to do synthetic division because it makes your work faster, cleaner, and less likely to contain errors. Here you might make some mistakes, but here you might make a mistake also, but it's less likely. So I'm going to show you the two ways. This is actually a modification of this. Um, it's not a new method. It's the same as this, but without all the noise that comes with long division. Let me show you how to do long division with this. So let's go. So you do this as if you're doing a fifth grade long division. Okay? So... All you have to do is this, you write the divisor on the outside, x minus 2, and on the inside, you write the numerator, which will be 2x squared minus 6x plus 5. So now you divide. Now how do you divide effectively? You have to ask, if I divide 2x squared by x, what will I get? Or how many times will x divide 2x squared? It will be 2x. So, so the next thing to do, as you would do in normal division, is 2x times x. You write it here, 2x squared. You also multiply this. 2x times negative x, well, negative 2 will be negative 4x. So the next thing to do is to, divide, to subtract. Subtract this from this. This will cancel out or zero out. Now listen. If what you got in these two are not the same, then you've made a mistake in your choice. Okay? So this, these two have to be the same. Then if you subtract this from this, you're going to have negative 6x. Um, if you don't know why this is negative, I'm sorry, negative 2x. Okay, um, negative 2x. If you don't know why this is negative 2x, you might want to fix your um, knowledge of um, numbers integers okay so let's move on so once you've gotten this you want to drop this this becomes plus five so you have a new polynomial this is now a linear polynomial so you do the same thing well if i divide negative 2x by x what will i get i'll get negative 2 negative 2 times x is negative 2x and negative 2 times negative 2 is going to be positive 4 so you divide again so if we do our division I mean, you subtract again. 5 minus 4 gives you 1. Now, at this point, you can't continue because you no longer have a linear polynomial because this is linear. You've gone below it, so you can't continue. You have a remainder, okay? Once you have a remainder, you want to end your math calculation, and that's it. So basically, this is what you have when you divide this polynomial by this polynomial. Your quotient will be 2x minus 2, and the remainder will be 1. Okay, so we can write our answers. You say quotient will be 2x minus 2, and the remainder will be 1. This is the answer you get from this calculation. If you want to do the same thing using synthetic division, the toughest thing for you to do is to decide for the denominator what will x be so that this will be equal to 0? x has to be 2, so that 2 minus 2 will give me 0. So you just want to make sure that you know what x will be. Another way to do that, instead of asking, is just solving it as an equation. Just write x minus 2 equals 0, and your x will be equal to 2. This, you need to know what x will be, okay, so that this polynomial will be 0. And from there, we can move on. So now that we know this is supposed to, be two, supposed to be 2, just write the 2 here. And instead of you doing this, you don't need to do that because we're going down, not up. Okay, we don't want to write our answers on top. It's going to be the, the bottom line. So now what you want to do is copy all the coefficients of the terms in the, in the polynomial you're trying to divide. So the coefficients are 2 negative 6 and 5. So you write 2 here, negative 6 and 5. These are the three numbers you need to write because there are three terms. Okay? Um, 
Here we go. And this is easy. The next thing to do is leave a space for just some numbers that we might need. And this is where your answer will be. Your answer is going to be on this line. Some of the work you will do will be on this line. And that's it. So you're, you're just going to need three lines. Okay? You don't have to write any X. You see how crazy this looks? You don't have to write all of that. So let's go. The first step is there will be nothing here because after you divide 2x squared by x, you will no longer have a term that contains x squared. So you don't have anything here. So what you just do is you drop, you assume here there's a zero or nothing. And when you add nothing to two, your answer is going to be two. I'll move on. Now, when you have an answer like this, you want to multiply two by two. Two multiplied by two is going to give you four. So where do you write the four? Here. Okay, two times two gives you four, you write the four here. Now that you've written four, you add negative six plus four, just as we added two to zero, you add negative six to four, your answer is gonna be negative two. You repeat the process. Two times negative two gives you negative four. You write it here. Okay, you add 4 plus negative 1 gives you 1. See this last term is always the remainder. Is always the remainder. As you can see, looks like we got the same remainder. So where is the answer? Like I told you, the answer is always here. So now, how would you know what these are? Basically, if you look at this 2 and this negative 2, they look like 2 and negative 2. But this one needs an x. How do we know it's an x we should write, not x cubed or x squared? Remember, we're dividing a quadratic polynomial by a linear polynomial. So when you divide x squared by x, the answer you get is x. That's why this is x. So you just need to write your quotient will be 2 x. We know it's going to be x because this degree has to drop by 1, minus 2. And your remainder will be 1. Okay, that's how you go about synthetic division. You can play this back again. I'm going to change the questions so you can have um, another example. So I'm going to change these questions and we'll try it again with another set of questions. Let's do that. So now we have another question, and this one says x cubed plus 2x minus 4 divided by x plus 1. So let's do it. We'll say the same thing. We're going to have x plus 1 out here, and under this we're going to have x cubed plus 2x minus 4. So we're going to have x plus 1. Now. If you divide x cubed by x, what would you get? You get x squared. Okay, let's multiply. x squared times x gives us x cubed, and x squared times 1 gives us plus x squared. Um, let's do the subtraction. This is gone. Oh, remember, we cannot subtract x squared from 2x. So we're going to assume this is, there's no x squared to subtract. Okay, so there's a 0x squared here. You have to make that assumption so you can do your subtraction. So if you subtract x squared from 0x squared, you're going to get negative x squared. Remember that. It's important. Okay, don't subtract this from this because these two are not the same. They're not similar t terms. Okay, they are different. So this is going to be x squared and this is going to be, um, that's there. Then you can drop this one, plus 2x minus 4. Just bring everything down. Okay, so it becomes cleaner. Um, now, you repeat the process. What would you, if you divide x squared by, negative x squared by x, what would you get? You get negative x. So, negative x times x gives you negative x squared, and negative x times 1 will give you negative x. So now you can subtract again. See, I'm taking only the first two, because this has two terms. If it had three terms, you take three at the same time. Okay, so this is going to be a negative x squared. Um, so if you subtract this two, they zero out. Now 2x minus negative x is going to be 3x. Be careful here, 3x. 
and then this becomes negative 4. We do the process again. If you divide 3x by x, what do you get? You get plus 3. So 3 times x gives you 3x, and uh, 3 times 1 gives you 3, plus 3. We do our subtraction again, so this zeroes out, and you have negative 4 minus 3 is going to be negative 7. So the remainder for this exercise is negative 7, and the quotient is x squared minus x plus 3, which means, excuse me, which means if you, if you divide x squared, if you, if you multiply this by this, and then add this, you're going to go back to this, okay? That's how that works. Let's see. <sighs> so, if we use synthetic division for this same problem that we have solved, let's see how it goes. Faster? Let's go. This has to be negative 1 for this to be 0, okay? So, I'm just going to use negative 1. And then I copy all the coefficients of the numerator. So I'm going to have, for the cube 1, it's going to be 1. The coefficient here is 1. Here it is. Oh, there's something missing. It's supposed to follow an order, x cubed, x squared, x to the first, and then the constant. But the x to the second is missing. So I have to write 0 there um, to, re to replace it. Now I can go to this, okay? So you can see this is like x cubed plus 0x squared plus 2x. So we don't have the 0x squared showing because this is 0, but we need to write it, okay? Just like we did, skip something here. So um, this is going to be now plus 2. Oh, we don't need the plus sign. Hey, come on. Just write the numbers. So this is going to be 2, and this is going to be negative 4. So Let's remember, nothing is here. Just bring this down. That's it. What is negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. We write it here. Then we add. 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1. Then we move on. Negative 1 times negative 1 gives us positive 1. We write that here, and we add. That makes it 3. And then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Write it here. When you add, you get negative 7. That's it. We're done. You see how long this took us? You see how long this took us? It was just quick. So I recommend this. Always use synthetic division as long as you're dividing by a linear polynomial. It's fast. It's clean. Practice many questions and you'll be fine. Okay? So the same thing. Quotient. Remember, because the highest power here is the third power, your answer will be starting from the second power. So your quotient will be 1x squared, which is x squared, minus x plus 3. That's your answer for the quotient, which I think looks exactly like this. Okay? And the remainder will be x, will be negative 7, sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> will be negative 7. 